Hi, I'm Brittany with the Madison Library. We are going to be making catapults today, so let's get to it. All right, so for today's STEM craft, we are going to be making the catapults. You will have in your kit 10 pencils, one spoon, and 16 rubber bands, and launching material. Um, I'm going to be using a pom-pom today, but you are actually going to get a marshmallow. So first off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take two pencils and one rubber band. You're going to take the ends with both the erasers and just kind of wrap your rubber band around it. Make sure it's tight, but not so tight that you can't kind of wiggle it around a little bit because we need that movement. So there's one and you're going to do that one more time. just right at the top again with the erasers at the top kind of shimmy it up there so it's about the same spot on both pencils so you have two sets like that now I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna move my rubber bands a little bit so we have more room so now we're going to make the base of the catapult you're going to need your so two like this and two like this essentially, but we're going to have to rubber band them together. So kind of crisscross them like this. It's kind of hard to do, but crisscross them. And then you're going to wrap your rubber band around it. You're going to kind of try to start wiggling it in that L shape. And then you're going to do the next one. Kind of see how both of these are on top of this back pencil. Make sure you keep that consistent. You can either have these two pencils on the bottom or they can be on top, but just make sure that it's the same on both sides. So I'm taking both my corners, moving these out of the way. <clears throat> both my corners. Another rubber band, twisting it around, okay, it's almost there, kind of stretch it there. So I'm going to flip it towards me so it's a little easier to hold everything. Grab another rubber band. Just kind of twist it there around both sides. Okay, and the last one. So, like I said, we have these two pencils that are on the bottom, and these two that are on the top. And it kind of likes to twist on you, so you might need another pair of hands to hold it as you're doing. The rubber band part. And there's my second pair of hands. Okay. All right, that's all twisted. So we're gonna just kind of make it square. So you might need to wiggle with it a little bit. Okay. And it's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. So next, we're going to grab our two that we previously tied together at the top. And you're going to take and put them at the end, in the corners of the square. Once we kind of give a little more edge to that. So just hold one end kind of like this at the tip, kind of matching all your ends there. And take your rubber band and just kind of secure it on there. Okay, that's on there. 
And then we're going to take this one, and it's going to go stretch over here. So once again, we're just kind of putting all those corners together there. And then grabbing another rubber band, twisting it around everything. And my rubber bands are a little stretched out, so they're you might not have to wrap it around as many times as I am. And then just kind of wiggle with it so you're getting your shape. Because that's the gist of the shape. So we'll do that one more time on this other side. Okay, so it's going the outside here. And just kind of wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. Okay, there's that one. And then the last one for the corners. So now you kind of have some semblance of kind of like a prism or a pyramid, I guess. And we're going to now put on the, it kind of is like what they call a bracer. So we're going to put it underneath the kind of where the two pencils meet at the tip. And so I'm going to take another rubber band and we're going to wrap it like this, kind of around all those top pieces. Okay, and then that one. And this should kind of help it keep its shape a little bit more once you add this last pencil here. So I'm wrapping it around the top and that pencil that I'm holding in the center. Just keep going around and around. And one more time. Okay. So as you can see, mine's not exactly laying flat, and that's okay. It'll still be able to launch whatever you put in the spoon. So we're just kind of playing with it a little bit. And this is pretty much the last step. What we're going to do is you're going to take your spoon. I'm going to move this over here for a second. You're going to take your spoon and you're going to put it on top of your pencil and take another rubber band. And so I put the rubber band over the top of the pencil so the pencil is in the rubber band. And we're just going to try and put it in the middle as much as possible and kind of secure the the spoon to the center of this pencil and you kind of want to try and make it as straight as possible because then you'll be able to launch your marshmallow straight so nothing fancy just trying to make it sit in the center as much as you can so there's my pencil it's a little crooked but so is the rest of it, so it's okay. So now we're gonna put it, let's see. Um, all right, so to attach the, the lever arm here, our spoon, you need to make sure that when you put it on your frame, the, this part of the spoon is not gonna whack in the middle of this. It needs to clear the top like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rubber, rubber band and our pencil and I'm gonna wrap it around here a couple times because it's gonna be kind of tricky to, um, to attach it to just the pencil. So we're gonna do this a couple times until we get almost to the end of the rubber band. So we only have a little bit of room left and we're gonna put it in the front and the inside of our frame. So I'll show you in a minute just what I'm talking about. So it kind of looks so it's in the front of this frame. We're not putting it behind there, we're putting it in front. So when it's, when the spoon moves, when we pull it back, when we're gonna launch something, it's gonna go whoop, 
and then go just whack over the top there. So I'm going to take this end and we're going to twist it here around here. Because it's too low. Oh, there we go. Helpful hands. We're going to move it higher up just so the spoon isn't too low like I was talking about. It's a little tricky. And so there you go. We've kind of got it attached there. So we're going to do the same thing with this side. So, and I'll rearrange it a little bit after we've attached this guy. So I'm just wrapping it around the end of the pencil here. Now we're almost to the end of our rubber band and we'll wrap it around the back of this pencil and then do that. Let's see how many times we can do that. So we're just kind of attaching it. It doesn't have to be super fancy just so it stays there. Okay so as you can see my spoon is a little too low so I'm just going to wiggle everything up and then that should make it so my Oh, there we go. So the spoon is where it should be. So when I pull it back, that's going to hit that spot. Okay, last step. So you should have one more rubber band. We've used 15 rubber bands so far. So you're going to take the spoon. We're going to take our rubber band, stretch it over the top of your spoon, and just kind of twist it. And then you're going to take and put it over the top of your frame. And that gives your tension to your catapult so you can put your material or your launching your pom-pom or your marshmallow in there and then just let it go. We're also going to go and show you guys how far this catapult can launch. So here we go. Whoop, it's a little tricky because this guy's fuzzy. So I'm gonna hold my frame just because it's a little wonky. Here we go. One, two, three. So now we'll go to the other room and show you guys where, how far it flies. <laughs> there we go. All right, here's our catapults. Have fun launching.